Armenia has recorded 515 new COVID-19 cases on Wednesday, bringing the total number to 10,524. Also, 6,841 people are currently being treated. According to the latest data, 3,454 people have recovered thus far, and 170 patients, an increase by 12 in the past day, have died up to now. Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan had a Facebook live stream Wednesday morning and regarding the growing number of COVID-19 cases and deaths in the country. Earlier on Tuesday, Pashinyan had taken to his Facebook to share photos where there are crowds of people near banks, post offices and on public transport in the country. According to him, we have a problem with an attitude towards law and order. Should I now bring out the special forces and beat the people to maintain law and order? How can I do such a thing? I am not used to it," he added. Earlier, Pashinyan had not ruled out tightening restrictions, including declaring off curfews. <music> Armenian Health Minister Arsen Tarosan reported the first Kawasaki syndrome in a four-year-old child who had asymptomatic COVID-19. Given the international statistics, we had previously stored expensive immunoglobulin drugs envisioned specifically for the treatment of this syndrome. He noted, adding that the doctors assess the baby's condition as moderate. Armenian Parliament ex-speaker Armen Khachadurian has died. Born in 1957, in Yerevan, he served as President of the National Assembly from 1999 to 2003. He also served as Armenia's ambassador to Belarus. Yuri Beglarian, the brother of former Minister of Transport and Communication Gagik Beglarian, has been declared wanted, the police of Armenia reported. According to the press service, Yuri Beglarian is wanted for abuse of power and illicit participation in business.